It was exactly five months ago when I sat in this same spot and take my very first introduction video welcoming you to my new YouTube channel. In that video, I explain what the channel will be about and I also explain what I call the five processes I had to go through in my journey in becoming the better version of me. The first chapter called self-acknowledgement, I explain why it was important to have acknowledgement of self to change, enhance, and empower what is needed in you. The second chapter I call taking ownership of self. I explain why it is important to own every action and thought that comes from you to hold yourself accountable in order to improve yourself. The beautiful duck in the background, I hope you are able to see it. In the third chapter called Forgiving, I explained why it is important to forgive yourself in order to free yourself from the negative feelings following a traumatic experience, only keeping the lesson. In the fourth chapter, I called Improving Ourselves, I explain why it is important to become the better version of you. Those four videos will be posted at the end of this video, so make sure you stick around. Today's video is the fifth and final chapter and the most important because it all began with me. Now it all begins with you. Like the matrix, no one can force you to the truth. You choose like how I chose. I chose self-preservation. I chose the red pill. I chose to make me the better version of me so me can give to the world what I want from the world. A work in process that I am glad to share with you through dangerous conversations. We talk about what most deal with in silence. I am the host, Tony Yvette, and you are welcome to share, like, and subscribe to this channel. What are the options? There are only two. Red pill. That equals truth. Where you are able to acknowledge and appreciate all the beauty around, below, above, and within you. When you can explore because the mind is free to be curious and to seek out that curiosity. When you are excited about learning, growing, and improving. When you are not influenced by anything outside of you. And when you allow you to trust you and only you. Then it's the blue pill. Which equals being stuck. Living in what I call survival mode. Where we are just existing doing the expected. When you are unable to think for self, you go along with what comes along. When you seek higher knowledge only in our schools, not realizing true knowledge already lies within you. When you see no logical reason for self-improvement because toxicity became normal. When you seek outside sources to make the inside feel comfortable. 
I had to discover not all choices are choices. When options are dictated, neatly prepared and packaged for you, the world calls it a choice. But when the inner you yawns and pulls and tugs at your spirit for a change, now you choose. Now you make a choice. True choices are never easy to pick from, especially when you have no knowledge of what the outcome will be. But when it comes from the inside, trust that it can and will only be for the betterment of self. You choose to understand, you choose to find out, and you choose to live up to what your spirit is silently telling you. The choice lies only within you. When we realize one positive thought can change everything around us for the better, it becomes a matter of just speaking it into existence, having no expectations from the past or future, having no expectations to be included, understood, or accepted. You are free now. When you fully understand that we are powerful beyond our comprehension, that God lives within you, and you have reached a pinnacle in your life that only the self can measure. Now you are thinking for self. You are in control of your faith, and you dictate your destiny. Oh, I had the urge to please everyone except me. I showed up for people that would not show up for me. I gave when I had nothing and nothing was given back to me. And we wonder why we feel empty when everyone around us is happy because we drained ourselves on others. I did have a choice. I have learned a lot of lessons that I now appreciate, but the one that stands out the most is pretty much well known. If you keep doing the same thing, expecting a different outcome, you become your own downfall. I may not know the outcome of choosing something different, but I do know the outcome of staying the same. I had a choice to make. Stay doing the same thing, which is comfortable, safe, and familiar, or try something different, which is uncomfortable, vulnerable, and unfamiliar. I decided to try something different. Now, I choose. I chose the red pill. I chose based on my understanding of what happiness and contentment means. My choice was me, myself, and I. A decision most of us are not comfortable with because it may come off as being a little selfish or a selfish individual. But now I have no negative feelings on how others think and I no longer want to cater to someone or something that is outside of me. I chose me and I hope after watching the four videos and plus this video that you choose you. If we tell ourselves we can, we will. If we are tired of living in survival mode, 
we transfer to creation mode. If we choose love, hate disappears. I am, I can, and I will. Within you lies God, and through you we see God. Let go, be calm, stay focused, and always remain curious. Let's trust the process. And most importantly, let's take this journey together. Always remembering there is only one love, one universe, and one consciousness. See you on the other side.